Wait, 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 wait. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, so look, there's literally one decent player in icon swaps. One. He may have gone under the radar, but but I can assure you this guy is a very, very, very viable option for your team. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Okay, now before we get into the review, just wanting to let you guys know that this player isn't for everybody and I will delve a bit more into that at the end of this video. So be sure to stay till the end of the video to find out if this guy is for you. No, no. He may be, he may not be. I'll let you know. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel here, my name is Tiki and welcome. Now look, we've got something to talk about. These icon swats are absolutely shambolic like honestly i was expecting a lot more i'm very let down and i know a lot of other people in the community are but there is actually one player in this set that i think is worthy of an honorable mention and for me that player is blanc for those of you that are new here i have already reviewed blanc however the reason why i'm re-reviewing this guy and linking it to this icon swaps is because their stats are pretty much identical Bruh. i don't know if you have actually noticed but really their stats are practically identical and for me I think I'd probably prefer the mid over the prime, Easy. as dumb as that sounds. But for this card, I have over 183 games played, Impressive. so I already have a really good understanding of how this guy feels in game and whether he is worth the time and effort and the gamble, really. In saying that, let's done? move over to Future Tiki and sure? compare their stats. I'll that just wait you for a bit then. One of the two. I don't okay, know. cool. Thank you. Well, moving on, his mid versus prime. So initial thoughts, you don't even really have to deep dive into their stats, but they're very, very similar. Even it, just looking at their face card stats, it's very hard to pick many differences at all. If anything, his mid in my eyes is better, like what old mate said. But there is something to note here. My prime is worth eight mil. Eight mil? Eight mil, yeah, sure. 800k on Xbox and then 1 mil on PlayStation. In comparison to a little bit of heart, a little bit of grind, seven tokens. Seven tokens? <laughs> a little bit of heart, a little bit of grind, and really he's only 13 tokens and that is all it's gonna cost you. Yes, you will have to wait till the next set of swap tokens are released, but this guy looks like a very, very viable option. And saying that, I'm sure I've given you enough time to read his stats. Like, if you haven't, then I mean, you can pause the video. Otherwise, let's just get on to the gameplay. Okay, now before we jump to any conclusions, let me just tell you. I may be in love with this card as much as I was when I first packed him. This guy is absolutely unreal. Pace-wise, keep in mind he is 6 foot 4. Pace-wise, he's absolutely phenomenal. And yes, I do play a catalyst with him in this gameplay. However, you can really use whatever chem style you want. I do recommend catalyst or shadow just to give that extra bit of pace considering his height. But really, it's up to you. And then defensively, man, this guy is just an absolute brick wall. Like nothing at all gets past him and that's no hesitation of the fact like the role this guy plays in people's teams is not to just be a center back like Varane or Gomez he has that build like Van Dyke where he really has a presence in any defense and will literally block out any shot any opportunity really any threat at all and that is something really big meanwhile despite his defensive capabilities I mean the links this guy brings he brings the French link, the French strong link, the icon link. He links to everybody. He brings a lot to the table in terms of chemistry and makes building teams fairly simple. And then not to undermine this card's size, but six foot four, you expect him to be very, very physical. And I'll tell you what, this guy has no problem bodying anyone in his way. And really, what he brings to the table is he brings solidity and confidence to your team. And it can really help formulate what your team has to offer up top. It just brings confidence to the backline. You don't have to stress about 
A, someone outpacing him, or B, someone bodying him, or C, someone beating him aerially. He has everything. So really, as a whole, this guy is a complete player and will really change your team for the better. However, there is one con, and that con is he costs 13 tokens. That is a lot of tokens, but it does mean you will be able to combine that with a couple packs. So in my eyes, is this guy worth the 13 tokens? And simply put, it depends on how you are as a FIFA player. If you are at a stage in the game where you feel like you just need a solid end game centre back because he provides so much and yes he will take some time to complete and no he's not the most expensive out of the bunch either however the way this guy plays he will not leave your team. Guaranteed he will not leave your team. However in saying that this guy isn't for everyone and the reason why I say that is because if you do have a top 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 tier account with incredible players in every position, you may not need an extra center back. Yes, he would probably slot into your team, but it may become more beneficial for you to do a potential prime icon pack, for example. So I'm not gonna say go out and get this card. I'm gonna say go out and get this card if you are looking to get another center back in your club that is very solid and can do a job and and you want to keep in your team for pretty much the rest of FIFA. Because even in team of the season time, to be honest, this card's probably going to stay in my team, and I don't see him leaving anytime soon. So really, at the end of the day, it's up to you. Do you want to gamble, or do you want a solid center back? For me, enjoyment-wise, he's a 9 out of 10. And to be honest, I'm not too sure what I actually did rate him in my last review. However, 9 out of 10 I'm going to give him. But yeah, overall, he's just a complete defender, and you can't really ask for much else. And then value for tokens. Yes, it is a lot of tokens, and no, he's not the most expensive player in the swaps either. However, this guy will probably stay in your team the longest, and that's how I look at it. I look at the longevity of it, and for me, this guy is going to last the longest. So value for tokens, I'm going to give him a 9 as well. I think overall, people might oversee this card, but if you are after a center back, then... Look no further. He's sitting right in front of you. However, it's been your boy Tiki. I hope you've enjoyed. Feel free to hit that like button down below. Comment and let me know what you think of the video. And as always, I hope to catch you guys all in the next one. And I also do stream on Twitch every Friday and Sunday. So feel free to drop by and say hello. And come and meet some people. All my links will be down in the description below. Including the Discord. Where we really do have an amazing community. So feel free to come join us there. But yeah. As always, it's been your boy Tiki, and I will look to catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out, lads.